Looks like I uh, ruffled some tail feathers in the uh, previous video I uploaded. And um, I really did not expect or see the... Uh, How should I say, <laughs> you know, um, I'm, I, I'm actually at a loss of words because I didn't think my opinion would cause, you know, such an uproar. Um, you know, I personally don't like the game, but I can understand that other people have been looking forward to this game. And um, I'm sorry if I, you know, I offended any of you. I just, uh, you know, wanted to share my opinion, and, you know, I don't know, I could be wrong, maybe this will turn out to be a decent game, maybe some people will like it, you know, but you know, like, just like I said before, you know, you see how my teammate just got killed and left me, you know, fighting alone against these enemy bots or whatever but oh my god I'm about to die hold on anyways um let's see anyway what I want to say during this video is, is I apologize if I you know I offended anyone or, or I hurt anyone's feelings that totally was not my intention. I just wanted to uh, share my experience, you know. I really didn't. I really didn't enjoy, you know. Um. Sorry, I you know I just get distracted while playing the game. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, I need to. I need to turn the volume down on the television. Um, I am totally knocked off my rocker. Uh, where is my headset? I need to put my headset on. Okay, let me see. Turn this. Get this on. <sighs> Alright, I uh, probably need to turn the volume down because uh, the gameplay so far is probably causing an echo. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. You know, okay, let's get the game back started. Anyways, um. I'm really shocked by the reaction and my uh, pain caused in my previous video. I never seen so many uh, angry comments, you know, directed towards me, and uh, you know, people upset. Um. But you know, I, I guess I should know by now that people are emotionally attached to these games. I don't know why, cause it, you know, it's a new game; it just came out, you know. But you know. Uh, you know, I could be wrong. You know, maybe this is a good game. Maybe it's maybe it's just me. Maybe uh, maybe this type of game really isn't for me. I don't know. Or maybe I just haven't given it a try enough. You know, I try. I played this game for several hours. Um, I tried different classes. Um, I played both the security and the resistance campaigns, and uh, I I just wasn't enjoying myself. However, you know, it's not just my opinion. I see other signs that this game is not going to really be all that good. Because if you go, like, over to Amazon.com, the price is already starting to fall for this game. Because that's if they, you know, they already know. Hold on, I can't focus. Uh, sometimes I get distracted. Whoa. See, I'm a medic. I'm playing as a medic class, of, you know, not a soldier. It's easy for me to go down. So if I see too many soldiers on screen and not enough uh, allied soldiers backing me up, you know, I just back off and, you know, get out of there. Um, 
this video right here is live commentary. The previous video, uh, I actually recorded the gameplay. You know, the previous video, I recorded the gameplay um, before, you know, doing the commentary or whatever. But you know, I tell you what, if this game turns out to be really great and I'm wrong, you know, I, I will do a full walkthrough for it. I will prioritize this game. Uh, But you know, my my opinion is my opinion. There's gonna be games I like that um, that other people don't like, and there's gonna be some games like I'm totally dead. I probably should just. I'm trying to wait for a medic to come and heal me and get me back up, but um, I probably should just uh, go back to the spawn point. Yeah, doesn't look like my guys are going to back me up, you know. Like I said before, the allied AI is dumbed down compared to the enemy AI. You really can't count for them to back you up, really. And you know, my review... Okay, so this is like the end. Wow, I'm surprised. This mission normally talks takes like 12 minutes. I'm surprised it's over already. So this area is done for. Um, guess maybe I'll be ending the video here. But you know, once again, I apologize. You know, for offending anyone. Uh, it totally was not my intention. Um. I don't know, I never got so much negative feedback before. Um, you know, I really don't know. And, uh, I don't know. I was, uh, I was reading over some of the comments, and I think there was one guy, was named Boston Fool or something, and he was really coming at me hard with a passion. But it seems he based all his views of the game on the uh, the trailers, and I don't think that's a really good idea. I mean, you can't base um, how good a game is on the trailers. You have to wait till you actually play the game first, and then try to form an opinion. You know, um, but like I said, I could be wrong. You know, I'm not perfect. Uh, I'm not always right about everything. I'm wrong sometimes. And, uh, you know, it seemed like it pissed a lot of people off. I, I, I'm guessing a lot of my subscribers actually pre-ordered the game. So, if a lot of you guys already bought the game, um, in that case, I hope I am wrong. I, I hope I am wrong. I am hope I hope that maybe it's just the way I was playing the game and maybe uh, it was my own fault, you know why I had the opinion that I had and not the game developers, you know. So, um, but, you know, the main thing that I really didn't like about this game is, uh, I didn't feel like this game broke any new grounds, you know. Uh, I didn't feel like there was anything, there's any type of new b abilities are cool exciting things I could do in this game that I, I haven't experienced before in other games and um, based on what I had seen you know prior to the game before playing it is I, I thought that this I thought it was going to be really really good and I was going to be able to try and control these um, exotic high technological new types of weapons and stuff where you could do crazy stuff it's just after playing games like Killzone 3 and uh, Crisis 2 and uh, Monday Night Combat, it's like uh, everything I've experienced so far in this game, you know. But then again, maybe maybe some of my subscribers haven't played those other games I've played, so maybe it would be a different experience for them because uh, not everyone not everyone owns Killzone 3, not everyone owns uh, Monday Night Combat or these other games that I'm comparing this to, so this might be... A new fresh feeling for them so uh, you know that and that's a perspective I really didn't look at it from so maybe they will perceive this game you know entirely different for that that reason alone 
And, uh, you know, I'm just going to end the video here. And, uh, uh, chat with you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace.